scalp away? Uh, yeah, it was certainly made the flight home a lot more enjoyable. Um, yeah, it was certainly a big game for the football club and um, and especially for a few other guys as well. And in the milestones of Richard Douglas, who's been a, a champion of our club, and um, James Poziality, who um, played his hundredth game and. Um, it's only been a short stay for him this far here, but we've um, certainly embraced him and we um, really wanted to put in a good effort for those two. What were you thinking when Clark kicked that goal to put them in front after you probably controlled the game for most of the match? Was it a worry or I guess it showed the belief was there? So. Yeah, definitely. We, we definitely do have a lot of belief and um, we knew that um, it wasn't something which we, we weren't scoring or anything like that. We certainly were giving ourselves a lot of opportunities and we really just had to take them. I mean, we sort of, um, well, myself included, missed a few opportunities in the game where we should have nailed them and, and um, um, put them away. But um, it wasn't that way. And uh, it was certainly a credit to all the players and to respond and, and get over the line. Does it feel any different being in the top eight? Um, no, because it's um, due, due to our inconsistency this year, we just sort of can't settle on that. And, you know, there's f five games to go and... It's um, certainly a long time in footy. I mean, they t talk about a week being a long time in footy. So, you know, five weeks, we've got, it's, you know, the destiny is in our own hands and, um, you yeah, know, we can do what we want from here. So you don't feel the pressure sort of eased on the group at all? I don't think we can. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> why can we uh, think it's going to ease? I mean, there's five games to go and um, they're all very important. So, you know, for us, the, the next worry is this week and um, we've got to put in a good performance against West Coast because um, at this stage of the year you can't afford to, to drop any games. Is that the theme for the next five weeks of the destinies in your own hands basically? Um, I don't know if it's the theme, I think that's, um, you know, we've just got, uh, just got home and um, sort of that's sort of, sort of how it sounds at the minute but, you know, we've, we're just worrying about West Coast this week because I know it's cliche but we, um, you know, just due to our inconsistencies this year and being up one week and down the next, we, we can't afford to look any further than that so, um, I know it's not what you guys want to hear, but that's just literally how we're thinking about it. So you spoke, spoke of the belief. Yep. You mentioned that word. How strong is the belief in the group? Obviously, to come back again when you were headed yesterday and to push for the finals now. Yeah, certainly. I mean, um, it's something which we've been um, developing over the last few years, and well, since Sando walked in, and sort of uh, it's been growing, and um, it's just the trust within one another to, to keep on um, to pressing forward and. Um, I mean, you saw it yesterday, but it's been a byproduct of a, a lot of close games we've been involved in and, um, and trust amongst the boys. So um, we certainly believe we can do it every week. Um, but certainly, once those sort of situations come up, we, you know, we thrive on winning those close ones. So, how important is that for the club moving forward? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, um, belief's grown from those sort of situations. So, um, you know, we, we want to win the close ones. And yesterday was a good opportunity where we got challenged and were able to bounce back and, and get over the line. Does that show you've grown a bit? You actually are moving forward? I think so. Sorry? I think so, yeah. Is Just there a moment where you about, did your sorry. inconsistency earlier in the season, is there anything you've learnt from that time that you can sort of put in place over the next five weeks to even that out? Oh, I mean, you learn from, from every week, win or lose, so, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll um, get in and have a look at the edits from the game and review the game and um, but yeah, we, we learn from every win and loss and um, you know, it's sort of put us in the position we are here today. So um, you know, hopefully we can learn from the win on the weekend and move forward to West Coast with the, with the same attitude. Was there a moment or an individual um, act as Collingwood was sort of running all over the top of you that the team just sort of felt, okay, this, this isn't happening again, we're going to stand up? Um, I mean, Richard Douglas told me last night that he threw us on his shoulders when he kicked <laughs> that goal from the middle. Nah. Um, I don't think so. Um, I mean, I mean, we spoke about it before. I mean, I think just with the, you know, all the areas on the ground, we sort of, you know, come together and still have that desire to keep, um, you know, plugging away. And um, I mean, we were able to get over the top in the end. I think that was just through everyone working together and, um, yeah, cracking in. It, it, it makes a bit more, make a joke of it, but it, those sort of things can literally. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was a great effort from from Dougie and. Um, yeah, those, those sort of efforts do lift the whole team. So we certainly had a lot of spring in our step and then Tex kicks that goal and we sort of felt like we were rolling in the end. So um, yeah, all well that personally, I can't speak on behalf of some of the other boys, but that sort of made me feel like we were sort of getting back on top. What do you think of Tex's game as well? I mean, it seemed quite inspirational the way it was at yeah. for him, but he kept working and then suddenly things did fall. It's kind of the microcosm of the team. 
Yeah, I think um, I think it was sort of the the way the whole forward uh, forward line worked yesterday. We didn't all have our best days, but we sort of kept scrapping away and and fighting. And um, I mean, Tex has been outstanding ever since he got back. I mean, he's so important to us in terms of his leadership and um, how he straightens us up. And um, you know, he takes the best defender each week, and he's been he's been working tirelessly. So I mean, he was once again such a great presence yesterday, and um, you know. You know, some players are able to step up in those important moments, and he's that's why he's one of the one of the great players. How are you going? Here? I mean, you have to work around a few big personalities yep. and big bodies down there. How's your position feeling for you? Yeah, good. Um, I'm just enjoying being back. Um, it's sort of been an interrupted year, and um, sort of not one that um, I would have liked. But you know, we're in this situation now where I'm back playing, which is fantastic. And um, at especially at this time of the year, I mean. Um, you know, I would hate to have been playing at the start of the year and missing out now through injury. So I mean, I can only play the cards I'm dealt, and you know, I'm lucky to be in um, the side now when we're sort of getting close to the business end of the year. Tommy, do you feel like the team is peaking? That if you can actually force your way into the finals, you can maybe cause some damage. Um, I think, um, as I said, on the belief, I mean, you want to be peaking at this time of the year, so you want to be playing your best footy this time of the year. So um, if we're doing that in terms of playing our best footy now, then it's certainly a good sign. Are you playing? Are you peaking? Um, I think we're playing a lot better um, than we were at the, the start of the year, obviously, just due to our inconsistencies. But we've certainly got a long way to go. Um, you know, we, we, we see ourselves as being a really good side and we want to get there. Um, at the minute, um, we're sort of around that mark of you know, in the finals or out of the finals. But we want to, we've got a lot to work on um, and we'll be really looking to look on improving that in the next five weeks. Have you, have you just just spoken to Danger today? Yeah, I think all the boys are sore. I think Danger would be one of them as well. Um, you know, it was a it was a tough game um, and really contested. And I mean, the way Danger plays, he throws his body at it, so um, he'd be sore the most. But um, no, nah, he, he'll be fine. And um, I think uh, I think we've spoken about him being sore most weeks, but he, he gets up, so um, he'll be fine. It looked bad when he hobbled off. It must be a relief that he's sort of been cleared of anything major. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's a great relief. And did you get him out of the Eagles? Did you watch the Eagles game on Friday night? Uh, yeah, watched watched a bit of it. Yeah, it was a it was a wet and yeah windy game, but um you know they they certainly put a um, up a good fight and um, they'll be coming over here ready to put in a strong performance. So we've just got to make sure we're ready to go and um, you know that's the focus for us this week. Make AFC.com.au your first destination for all things crows. You'll find exclusive content, player interviews, video, behind the scenes action, photos and highlights.